how is going? Today I want to speak about uh, how to integrate Zod with your Angular application. But uh, first of all, what is Zod? Zod is a type first schema validation with a static type interface. In a nutshell, Zod is an NPM library that uh, help you to create um, object to validate uh, your uh, model during the runtime mode of your JavaScript uh, uh, code and uh, you can able to convert this object in uh, type or interface and uh, in this way you are sure about of uh, guarantee your uh, schema also during the runtime mode of your code. A very quick example using the Zod documentation. As you can see, you have to import Zod. And uh, in this case, my schema is of type string. Using the pass method, you can check your, uh, your object. In this case, uh, the, tuna, the tuna string is uh, right. So the pass method return the tuna because uh, this type is uh, equal as the schema. Otherwise, if uh, you pass uh, an object different uh, of your schema, for instance, a, 12, a number 12 in this uh, example, the pass method raises uh, an exception, a Zod error, and uh, inside of uh, this, uh, this error you can, um, you can uh, see the, the error uh, because uh, your object uh, not uh, satisfy your schema. Zod expose also another method called safe parse uh, that uh, return an union type. In this case, uh, if uh, the object is uh, right, you, uh, you get uh, an object with the success property uh, with, uh, with the type, uh, with the value of true. And in the data property, you get uh, the, your object. The, the, the right object. Otherwise, if uh, your object is uh, wrong, the safe pass return uh, an object with the, the success property with value false and you get uh, a property error with uh, inside the third error with the description of the error. But uh, don't waste time and uh, let's see uh, Zod in action. For this example, I create a simple application with NX and Angular. The application is very simple. There is an input where you can type a name for a GitHub user. For instance, I type my name and the, the application provide an HTTP request for you and get the result of this request. I left some um, mistake in, the, in this implementation uh, to uh, see the benefit of using Zod in your application. A quick look to the application. The application is very simple. There is a SUS folder with uh, the app module and uh, a single app component with uh, the business logic for this uh, for this example there is a, an input uh, and uh, a, a, a service github user service where you can find uh, the method the http method for uh, provide the the request it's very simple there is a, two there are two interface and uh, this service a very common uh, Angular project uh, if you are familiar with it. Okay, let's start. To use uh, Zod, first of all, we have to install it. So in our terminal, we can type npm run npm e Zod. And after some second, we have a Zod. Uh, ready for use in our in our project. So 
to use Zod, we have to import it. So we can import from Zod and we can use the Z object. We have to convert our interface GitHub user for, for Soul to a, no, a, an Zod object. To do this, uh, we have to create a const called GitHub user and using the Z object, we can use Z.object and now we can create our uh, validation. So uh, the GitHub user uh, has uh, a login property, type string. As you can see, the Z object exposes all the type for create the, the schema. So login id set dot string uh, avatar url set dot string url set dot string repos url set dot string and type in this case for type we can use the literal type so z dot literal and we can type user user perfect now we have to convert this object in a, in a type and we can use type we can use github user and now using the thread infer we can convert the github user object in a interface so using the operator type of github user now we can remove the github interface github user interface perfect we have the first schema and our first uh, type of uh, github user now we have um, to do the same thing for the github user search response so const github user search response set dot object and items in this case that dot array and github user is the type of our array and then total uh, underscore count set dot number now it's time to convert the object in a type so github i copy and paste github user search response and using that dot in fact we have a type of github user search response and perfect now we have convert our interface in to schema and to interface now it's time to use these uh, these schemas First of all, we have to remove the generics type from the get uh, method in the HTTP request. And uh, we have to improve our pipe to validate the response after, uh, before return the response.item. To do that, we can use the map operator. And uh, now we have the response. And using the GitHub user search response, we can use the parse method and we can pass the response. As you can notice now, here the response is of type object, so uh, is a generic type. After uh, this step, response is of type GitHub user search response. So so using Zod, we can 
uh, we can guarantee the type during uh, build time but also during uh, runtime so because uh, this uh, method uh, will be executed during uh, uh, during the runtime mode of this code and uh, after uh, this uh, method this method if uh, the response uh, uh, is uh, like expected by this uh, schema we uh, get uh, we go uh, to the next step so we can uh, return response.items otherwise uh, the pass method uh, raise an exception and uh, we have to handle it okay perfect now we have uh, our uh, schema and we have validated our uh, response so we can uh, save and uh, it's time to run our application npm run start and when uh, all it's okay we can go to the um, to the browser I, okay perfect if I open my console, clean, I type, I type poop, and uh, whoa, there is an error. So, as uh, I said, uh, I saw, um, I said before, uh, I made some mistake uh, in the previous interface. In this case, uh, I use the string type for the id instead of using the number type as you can uh, see zod in this case when the, the http request the, the get return the result try to validate our our, um, our schema and the id is of uh, type number but uh, in my schema, I put the string value. So, uh, and uh, in this case, uh, Zod uh, returned uh, raise an error because the schema is different from, uh, from the object. Perfect. Now uh, we can uh, uh, fix this uh, simple error. So we can go to the GitHub uh, user and uh, uh, z punto string uh, become z punto z dot number perfect now we can restart the application and if i type type poop boom i have another error Oop. probably this is a mistake Perfect. Now we have another error. The twenty-fifth uh, uh, items have the uh, has the um, the um, code uh, the type different from a user. So I can open the network. I check the twenty-fifth element, and uh, as you can notice. The type is uh, organization. Okay, perfect. So I can fix uh, this using uh, another cool feature in uh, Zod. Zod is able to uh, handle the union type, and uh, we can use uh, z.union. This method accepts an array. So we can pass uh, set dot literal and uh, with the value user and then z dot literal with the value organization. Perfect. Now I can go to my application, type poop and perfect. Now I get the result. Okay, I think uh, you can understand the benefit of using Zod. 
so you can uh, guarantee your type also during the runtime mode and if you if someone uh, change your API uh, and uh, you don't know about uh, about this uh, if you have a good uh, logger you are able to uh, to get not notification from this uh, from this error and uh, you are able to fix uh, quickly uh, this uh, this problem before uh, your customer call your boss probably now it's time to improve a bit uh, a little bit uh, our code base so we can create a, a custom uh, R rx6 um, operator to validate our our object. We can start using a const and we have to create uh, a simple um, a simple function and uh, const dot validation this method has a generic type and this type have to extend the third schema so we have to pass the schema as a parameter and then uh, using the carry we can get uh, our source so the source is of type uh, observable of no and uh, we have to use uh, source source dot pipe and then using map we can uh, get an object and then using scheme dot parse we can check our object i save it we can improve the uh, the method using the um, adding the result so observable and uh, now we can use z dot infer and using t we have guarantee our type so now it's time to use this dot validation method we can uh, go to our pipe and change the step of uh, validation using dot validation we can pass the schema and uh, perfect now our application use use the dot validation method to validate uh, our our response but we can use uh, this dot validation operator in uh, all the application to validate uh, the object we can use uh, for http request but uh, also uh, for the web socket or uh, other stuff perfect it's time to see uh, the application uh, running so I uh, go to the browser and now I I type I tape poop and perfect it's work that's all. I hope uh, you enjoy this content and if you like it, please uh, press the like button below. And uh, if you want to stay updated with my content, uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye. <music>